Welcome YouTube, working an old crusty. She was pulling to the right pretty good and had some worn front end pieces, so I pretty much replaced all the end links. Here's a computerized printout of what I had, and uh, I learned some time ago that you only pretty much want to get computerized alignments. If a guy gets out his tape measure, I'd ask him to uh, put the car down and get it the heck out of there. So I replaced all the tire ends, my toe is a little bit out. Um, but the big situation is the caster here. They're in spec, but I have a difference. And it was pulling to the right, and it's speculated that that's what's causing it. In case you don't know, your wheels basically pivot on an axis. And they're actually tipped back some. That's called a caster. Having some caster like this helps return the wheels to center after you let go after a turn. Camber is how far they're tipped in or out. And toe is basically if the wheels are square or not. Uh, toe in would be either tip, the fronts are tipped in a little bit and toe out would be they're tipped out a little bit. The radius arm mounting points were actually changed in this truck at some time. This could be contributing to this caster situation. Bushings are worn. Really could be any number of things, but I'm just looking for a cheap fix. So I'm gonna look at changing out the uh, alignment bushing. Here I have a fully adjustable alignment bushing. It has a series of uh, letters on it. And it's kind of like a eccentric inside of a eccentric. Say you wanted more caster, you might turn it one way or the other. And more camber, it would be turned one way or the other. The bushing comes with a chart. Camber, passenger side, driver side, caster. There's camber again. Basically, you try to uh, determine what you need. You pick out the two letters, and uh, you line one up with the slot on here, and the second one you line up with the outside of the knuckle, and that's how you know to position this thing. Right now, it's set up in a neutral caster position. The hardest part about this job is going to be getting this old alignment bushing out of there. It's actually amazing how rusted that is. I've probably only driven this truck about 500 miles since I put those ball joints in. But luckily, this original type bushing has a lip on it. We'll be able to hook something onto and pull upwards. So we'll uh, we'll get the nut off there and see if we can break the taper on that ball joint to that bushing. I'm gonna try this uh, OTC puller here. Now this probably isn't the best thing for a ball joint, but uh, the only other thing I can think of is basically using a slide hammer. So we'll see if this works. Got my eye protection on here. A lot of tension there. Wow, she came apart pretty violent, but uh, I got her out. Here I got both the uh, bushings out of the car, driver's side, passenger side, and uh, they're both marked the same. So we get this to focus here. One degree 30. Not 100% sure what that means, but if you notice this hole is in the center, top and bottom. So I believe that these bushings did not have any caster built into them. And you can see I have a 1.5 degree difference in caster. So what I'm going to try to do with these bushings is uh, bring that uh, caster in to make it the same. Here's an original bushing that came out of there. It says one degree on it. I set the uh, new adjustable one up to uh, one degree positive camber. And if you look at the bottoms, it's pretty similar. So I'm thinking... Uh, this is maybe a one degree positive camber bushing. So I'm going to run with that and see if I can make a guesstimate on setting up these uh, adjustable bushings. So here's my final answer. This is supposed to be uh, about the same. Here's the driver's side. And this is supposed to be uh, about 1.5 degrees caster removed. I cleaned up this bore real good. Uh, 
got all the crud out of there, sprayed it out with brake cleaner, and then uh, spray a little lube on there. In case I gotta take this all apart again. And I'm gonna set my new uh, bushing in there with the letter towards the outside like I need. These nuts aren't the easiest things to get on. The uh, coil springs interfering, so I actually have to have the bushing up out of the hole, get her started, and then drop the bushing down in. You can see here I put a mark on this adjustable bushing in case uh, the top sleeve spins as I'm tightening it down. Got the uh, ball joints greased up, the cotter pins back in, everything torqued down. I'm going to lower this pig down and uh, take it for a test drive. Alright, I'm driving down the road in the old crusty here. And it's actually driving a lot straighter than it was. My hands are off the wheel right now. It's still pulling a little bit to the right. So I don't know if, uh, if I didn't quite hit her there or if that toe got bumped out a little bit from that caster adjustment. It'll be interesting to see what the alignment guy has to say tomorrow. Well, I got my results back from the uh, second alignment, and there's actually more caster in it now, but it's uh, within three-tenths of a degree. And uh, alignment place number two said the toe was out. So they, uh, they went ahead and set that again. The truck drives pretty straight now. It's not quite perfect, but uh, for the age of the truck, I think I can live with it. And that's, uh, that's about it for the alignment pushing video. Thanks for watching.